pair of gloves and some common sense and away you go. For some, there's no resting while pesky plants invade. Shawnigan Lake business owner Randy Paisley made it his quest to find an easier way to get to the root of the problem. I'm not kidding when I say it'll pull you know, a two inch alder or two inch broom out of the ground in a matter of seconds. Not designed to cut or break off the stem, it's designed to actually squeeze it. So you It's see. called the puller bear. Paisley's modified design of a similar tool was originally manufactured at the family's home. It started back about Six, seven years ago, I uh, started a non-profit group in Shawnigan Lake called the Shawnigan Lake Preservation Society. One of our main objectives was to have broom pulls. Well, one of the primary feedbacks I got from people that had been involved in any kind of broom pulls, and I'd never been involved in one myself, was that the volunteers would just show up once. And, of course, once they left with bloody and blistered hands, they would never come back again. So, of course, one, one broom bash wasn't going to take care of all the broom in Shawnigan Lake. So it got me thinking that there must be some sort of tool other than pickaxes and, and chainsaws and whatnot that could actually remove the entire plant from the ground. A Google search led him to a similar product, but the entrepreneur felt he could fine-tune its design. Their tool is good. I mean, it's, it's all over the United States and it's been around for 17 years. But I, I'd found a flaw in it that I, I thought needed to be addressed and the fact that uh, it got me thinking of how I can produce my own tool that had more of a center pull as opposed to a side. I'd never welded before, but my brother had a little box welder and I started putting pieces of steel together and I had some pretty crude Flintstone type tools when I first started. They were about 20 pounds and but they worked. The product also impressed the producers of the Dragon's Den. The CBC television show allows budding entrepreneurs a chance to pitch their ideas to a panel who decide whether or not to invest money in their ventures. Oh I was shocked like we we watched the Dragon's Den on CBC last fall and, you know, my wife, Brandy, and I were, you know, to watch the show and say, you know, look at the stuff people are presenting here. I mean, we got a tool that's unique. Why did, you know, we should see if we can get on this thing. So, anyway, it's in the back of my mind, and I just happened to read in the Times calling us back in April. Or actually, yeah, it was back in April. And I uh, noticed that they were having auditions that day. We can't tell you the outcome, but it now has a manufacturer. Randy suggests trying the tool on other annoyances, like small trees, even rebar. And, might you ask, is there a drawback? When I started building the tool, I just thought, the was I noticing the broom more? And the more tools I built and the more developing I did, it just became more and more abundant. And I didn't think, I, it wasn't my imagination, it's just getting worse and worse.